Hello and welcome to another Festival Pro tutorial. Um, just a refresher today on auto login links. So when people come to a form, they'll be presented with one of two types of links. You've got this one here, which you can see is uh, a bit shorter than the one above it. And this is what you would have for a public um, outside world link um, under settings and access options we can see here public outside world and these are generally used for um, like application forms things you're going to put on your website when people are first interacting with your system their first kind of touching base and you know you're connecting with them for the first time once they're in your system and you're connecting with them as a user they've got a profile with you or you want to uh, have them as an artist and send them an advance or a, a vendor and send them their contract at this point you want to start using auto login links. Now, if you don't use an auto login link correctly, um, one of two things can happen. If you were, for example, to paste just this, well, this is um, the auto login link for you, for your system. So um, they would start filling this form in as example fest, for example. So we don't want to do that. We want to generate their own unique code, which is going to, in fact, encrypt their um, email address with the URL and log them directly into their account. The other thing that can happen is people can uh, see the form as closed. And sometimes if they're being sent the wrong link, it'll say that there's a closed form. So let's have a quick look at the artist advanced form here. And go to settings and access options. We can see here auto login link only. Now, as I said, we need to generate these links and we do this via the email templates. Um, and we can see here, say the art is advanced. If we go into here and we have a look at the link we're sending them to, this here has got the contact encryption on the end and is going to log them into their account. And if you need to change this link, we can click on the little arrow here. It's going to bring up all your forms. You can see your public forms on the left, your auto logins on the right. Um, alternatively, you can bring in this stuff via the mail merge, and we can do this here, mail merge forms. And if we find our artist advance sheet, we can see it's here, and we can see this is actually going to generate automatically an auto login link for us. You want to be making sure you're using auto login links anytime that you are using a form with access options, auto login link only. Do check these two things out if your form isn't working correctly or people are saying they're not able to submit. And that will enable anybody with this link. So if we have a look at the um, email I've been sent to, we'll have a look at 201 Dance Company. Um, and then we can click on here and we'll send them the artist advance. And here's that link that we were looking at a minute ago. We send that to them. And then their email, if we hover over here and look at the very bottom, you can see that this is now generated a direct link for them. You no longer see the contact end string. And they are able to copy this link and give it to anyone else. So if someone forwards this email on, it will fill in the advance for 201 Dance Company. So that means they can send it to their agent or whoever it might be. So that's just a quick look at auto login links. Just a quick refresher on the difference between using a public link, using an auto login link, and how to, to generate these links for your users via an email um, and make sure that they're able to log into their accounts and send back their details. Yeah.